Namaskar and welcome to Culture Express. This episode adds to our Culturescape playlist where we talk about some interesting aspects of Indian culture. Today, I shall tell you a little about a fundamental premise of Sanatana Dharma or Hinduism. Along with Dharma, Karma and Cyclical Time, the idea of reincarnation or rebirth is central to Hindu religious thought. Coming to think of it, the three are interconnected and dominate popular Hindu imagination thanks to the Bhagavad Gita. The very famous verses 7 and 8 from chapter 4 of the Gita enshrine these ideas. We hear Krishna declare to Arjun, Yada yada hi dharmasya, glanir bhavati bharata, abhyutthanam dharmasya, tadatmanam srijamyaham, paritranaya sadhunang, vinashaya cha dushkritang, dharma sansthapanathaya, sambhavami yuge yuge. In these shlokas, Krishna is telling Arjun that whenever there is decay of righteousness, O Bharata, there is exaltation of unrighteousness, then I, myself, come forth for the protection of the good, for the destruction of evildoers. For the sake of firmly establishing righteousness, I am born from age to age. We see the concepts of recurring ages and births right here. And it isn't restricted to Krishna, who is God. In another verse, he tells Arjun that they both have been born many times in the past. Just that, he remembers them all, but Arjun does not. The idea is reinstated in many of our scriptures and sometimes through Jati Smaras. These are rare people who remember their past lives. True men of God are also supposed to have this ability. Underlying this belief in reincarnation is the idea of an eternal soul that stems from the Supreme Brahman and merges into it in the end. In between happens the transmigration of the soul where it goes from one body to another, learning, gathering experiences and hoping to spiritually elevate itself until it gets a human birth. The body is a garment that the soul discards after a period of time and takes up another body. What dies is a person's gross body. His subtle body carries forth the essence of his life and his learnings. In the interim, this subtle body or soul goes to certain lokas or ethereal planes of existence where he either enjoys the fruits of his good actions or suffers for his bad ones. But if the soul has some strong unfulfilled desires from his last life or some unsettled karmic scores, he is drawn back to the earthly realm. The idea of reincarnation is a very helpful one in explaining the most seemingly unfair facts of life. Say, children born into abject poverty or good people suffering endlessly from horrible diseases. It is hard to explain why some people should have such a hard lot in life when they haven't even heard to fly. It must have something to do with their actions in the past life. Or take even the case of child prodigies. How else does one explain a Mozart, for example, without a lifetime of learning that got carried forward? We may or may not be Mozarts and we may not remember, but we all carry within ourselves the cumulative effect of all our karmas. But this does not imply that one is stuck in the cycle of birth and death for eternity. In fact, it is quite the opposite. The theory of karma offers you choice. Hindu texts claim that a human birth is most precious because it is only as a human that one can consciously walk the path of righteousness, seek enlightenment and attain moksha or liberation. Well, we certainly hope we are making good use of ours. Namaskar.